Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. It feels good to be back after my uh, one week hiatus. <laughs> um, apparently, uh, well, in the last episode we started off Witchy World and I missed so much stuff. I missed two Jinjos. I missed a few notes. I still don't know where those notes are. I know what Jinjos I missed. I missed the Jinjo behind the uh, electric fence. And I was like, you gotta blow up this fe you gotta blow this fence up so you can go through it with a fan, and then I didn't do it. Hello. So, uh, what we're doing here is we are taking Banjo to this switch, and in the last episode you saw me, um... You saw me, uh, making a jump pad appear up there. Uh, but it immediately disappeared as soon as we step off the switch. Well, as you can see, there's these sparklies, uh, which apparently they call a swap cloud, and you can, you can press A when you're... Uh, on that, and you can switch to your uh, other character. So now we can actually take Kazooie up there, uh, which is why we have these uh, sprint shoes here. And watch out for these guys. Try to stay close to the edge, and whoa, they usually don't hit you unless you're like uh, in one of these corners. I'm doing, I'm doing like I'm doing so crappy today. This is actually a second take because I couldn't do this for crap. And my commentary kind of sucked, so I decided to just restart the video. I know it's kind of lame, but oh, come on, will you get up there? Uh, don't fall back off, please. There we have our first jiggy for this video. There you go. Um, now in order to do most of the stuff, we gotta, we gotta, do, well. I might as well just die. Uh, I didn't really plan on doing that, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna give us our health back and we gotta head back to the split bats anyway. We gotta work on getting Mumbo in this world because, well, we need him to progress through some areas. And actually that Jinjo with the fan that I missed, um, before I even get that Jinjo, it might be best to just unlock the other thing that I need to fan for, so that we can get it all in one go. Oh wow, there's an empty honeycomb in Mambo Skull. Completely forgot about that. Wow, that's four. <laughs> you can actually go and take the van into Mambo Skull, and he's, he's gonna be like all pissed off. <laughs> Maybe I should show that or something. We've got a Globo. Yes, we've seen this dialogue before. I want your help. Because I need you to power up the attractions in this place. There's still some other stuff I need to do. I think I also missed a move somewhere. Ah, it doesn't really matter. You are just being annoying. This is what you get for for growling at me. <laughs> so let's head back over to the warp pad and we are going to warp... Uh, let's see, where do I want to go? I think I want to go to the space zone. I know that's where one of the attractions is. There's, I think three attractions we gotta open up. So let's go do that. Yeah, because I do see a mumbo pad over there. And there's that move that I was talking about that I missed. This works. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of already spoiled it. Momo's spell is power in this world. He can um, he can summon lightning, and for some reason that powers up the attractions of the theme park here. There's actually a Jinjo up here that I could have gotten before, but for some reason I didn't. And that opens up that place, and I think... Yeah, this is actually where you gotta take the van, because even though we opened up the Dajum Dome, we can't really do anything there yet. Because you gotta pay for the ride first. And we gotta head in here as well, because we gotta activate the Star Spinner. Which is going to unlock another Jiggy for us. Uh, I feel so much better doing this world instead of stupid little girls mine. Just because of how familiar I am with this place. Like I said, it's one of my favorite worlds and I'm pretty familiar with it, so... So we power up the Star Spinner. 
and I just realized that I didn't grab my glass of water for this recording session. It doesn't really matter because I'm only gonna be recording two episodes, so... And as you can see, there's a Jiggy on top of the uh, planet there. You probably wanna go get that. It's actually a pretty tricky Jiggy, if you don't know what you're, what you're doing. Buy some uh, pretty good platforming skills. We're gonna... We're gonna see some more of that later. And the Mumbo Pad disappears, and that gives us one more attraction I gotta open up. Uh, I'm kinda... Oh wait, I do know which one it is. Oh my god, how could I have forgotten about that one? Ugh, I am so not looking forward to that one. That's probably the most annoying Jiggy in this world, and... Um... For some reason, every time I... Dude, I'm trying to talk here. For some reason, every time I try to do it, I screw up. And I'm getting, like, really close. Uh, I don't think this is the place where we want to be, though. Dude. Shut up. You know, they, they, they sound so happy, but... <laughs> they're so dangerous at the same time. We also got to head over there. Dude, where is that attraction? I know it's out here somewhere. And I don't want to, like, move on before I open it up. I know the mumble pad is somewhere kind of cleverly hidden, I think. Oh, come on, where is it? I don't know if I've explained this place yet. But in here you can uh, get your fortune told. Uh, there's actually a chance you take a hit in there, so I'm not gonna do it. But there is a chance that you'll get a cheat that will tell you the location of every single Jiggy in the game. So if you wanna try to get that, I guess you could do that. Yeah, I don't remember where that last attraction is for some reason. I don't wanna change back into Banjo and Kazooie before I get it though, so... I'm probably gonna meet you at that place. Guys, I'm being so stupid. Okay, I found it and... Well, how embarrassing. This is the area behind the electric fence. <laughs> I was just talking about this place. I don't know how I didn't think to go here. Saucer of Peril. Oh, that's gonna be a fun jiggy to get. I can already tell. And that's pretty much the last thing we gotta do with Mumbo here. And I think after that, I'm just gonna go... Uh, back to Wamba's place and turn into a fan. To, to get that Jinjo! It's right on my screen there. <laughs> and is this gonna open up the door? Because I, I know that the door is where that saucer ends up after you... Um, after you uh, unlock it in Glitter Girl's mine. So... That's probably what we should go next. Uh, because I kind of want to get that out of the way, but there's so much stuff I still need to do. We're just gonna take Mumbo back to his skull right now, because we don't need him anymore. We're done with him for this world. And that unlocked a bunch of jiggies that we can get now. I'm probably not gonna get to them in this episode because I like need to turn into a van, get the stuff that I missed. And it's all gonna be a pain. Oh well. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna cut anything out even though I just did. But I don't know, that was just me failing. I'm probably not gonna cut out these strips unless they're like really long. Because, you know, it's a platformer, you shouldn't cut out stuff in the platformer. The more stuff I cut out, the harder it's gonna be for you guys to actually see what I'm doing. Or to know where in the world I am. At least that's my opinion. And also, since it's my side LP, I'll, I try to do as less editing as I can. Please don't jump back in there. So many times before. 
So we are back as the van and we don't need that, we can just jump down here. Screw you, you've been bugging me a lot, so I'm just gonna... oh. Oh, uh, it's just one of those. I thought it was one of the... How do you slide as a... How do you slide off of that as a fan? That makes no sense. Yeah, we're going this way now. Oop, got the burps. Probably gotta edit that out. Here's that Jinjo that I missed. Silly me. Oh wow, that's actually the last yellow Jinjo. Alright. That's another Jiggy in this video. Nice. <laughs> well, I was failing earlier. I didn't think I would be able to get another Jiggy in this video. Uh, for some reason, this video is just nothing but me complaining. I don't know what's up with that, and I'm going the wrong way. I should be heading towards the uh, space zone. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, you get to live then. I already got that. Gotta go over here. Because we gotta open up this ride. Also, that polar bear that you saw in the uh, area behind the fence where I just was, that's been kind of bugging me as well, because I still have to do that. Okay, here to enter the bone jarring Dodgems challenge. And that's the last thing we had to do with the fan, so yay on that. Even though I kinda like this transformation, it's probably one of my favorites. We're not gonna get to see it again. Oh well. I think I'm just gonna take this thing back to Wamba and then we're gonna call it a video. Because I am up to 12 minutes and... Well, we got a lot done in this video, even though I kinda failed a bit. No. Dude... You don't need to do that, I just want to use that warp point. Where am I going? <laughs> nope. Am I stuck? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was weird. And we're just gonna jump back in. Almost like jump on top of Wamba there. <laughs> Whoops. Don't jump back in there, please. Good god. Actually, I am going to get that Jinjo before I forget about it. It's on top of the Dodgems uh, dome there. Since we're heading there anyway, I also st still need to beat the boss of this place. Which you can do once you have the uh, move that you get here in the space zone. But yeah, that uh, Jinjo that I was talking about, if you uh, climb this thing here... You have this pole... Oh crap, I should have done this before I powered up the ride. Because now it's gonna kick my ass. And you can go up here and get that Jinjo. Which is our second green one. And with that, I am going to end off the video on top of the Dodge and Dome here. And that's going to be it for today, so thanks for watching, and I hope to see you later.